Let's create a multi-movement animation. To do it, we are going to connect our layers through parenting, group some of them as a pre-composition, and even write our first expression. Create a new composition by clicking on the film strip icon in the project window. Name the composition, Ferris wheel. The settings for this composition should be 1280 by 720 pixels, square pixels, 30 frames per second, and the duration should be 10 seconds. Make a new shape layer. Go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. Go to the Ellipse Shape tool. Hold down Shift while dragging your mouse to make a perfect circle. That is a circle with a symmetrical radius. Change the fill color as needed. In the Align menu, align the circle layer to the center of the frame vertically and horizontally. Use the Anchor Point Pan Behind tool to center the anchor point in the circle. Make a new shape layer. Go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. Select the Rectangle tool. Change the fill color to something contrasting with your circle. Draw the rectangle over top of your circle. It should overlap the edges. In the Align menu, align the rectangle layer to the center of the frame vertically and horizontally. Use the Anchor Point Pan Behind tool to center the anchor point in the rectangle. For clarity, rename your layers. Hold down Control and click on the name of the layer. Go to Rename. The rectangle layer should be on top. Click on the Toggle Switch Modes text at the bottom of the timeline. This will bring up other layer options. Click the T box in the rectangle layer. This is the Transfer Mode box. This will eliminate the overlap and fill your circle with the rectangle. This is why it's important to overlap your circle with the rectangle and have both layers centered in the frame. Now you have a compound shape. Now let's create a null layer. A null layer is a blank layer that you can animate and then apply that animation to multiple layers by parenting it to them. By parenting layers, you can animate multiple layers at once. First, go to Layer, New, Null Object. This null is going to be our rotation animation for this compound shape. In the Null layer, go to Transform, Rotation, or press R on the keyboard to bring up the Null layer's rotation dimension. Make two keyframes, one at the beginning, 0, and the other at 10 seconds. Make the first keyframe by moving the blue playhead to 0 and clicking the rotation stopwatch. Then, to create the second keyframe, move the blue playhead to 10 seconds and change the total number of rotations on the left to 7. The number on the left is total rotations, so the total rotations for 10 seconds will be 7. Move the playhead back in the timeline to the start. Connect your layers to the null layer by dragging the pick whip from the circle and rectangle layers to the null layer. You can also do this by using the drop-down menu. Now preview your action by pressing spacebar. Now let's make a pre-composition. A pre-composition will unite both layers and give us layer animation properties for our united circle. Press shift and click on each layer to select it. Whatever is selected in the timeline will be included in the pre-composition. Go to Layer, Pre-Compose. Name your pre-composition. 
Now both of your layers are joined into one layer, a pre-comp. You can always edit the individual layers in your pre-comp by double-clicking on the pre-comp. Here I will change the color to blue. If I click back to my main composition in the timeline tabs, the circle is now blue. I will change it back to red. Make three copies of your circle pre-comp layer in the main composition by using the Command plus C and Command plus V keyboard command. You should have four layers of the circle. I'm going to change the position of the circles numerically for precision. By default, the center position is 640 by 360. If you think about this, this is the center of 1280 by 720 by evenly dividing it. Press Shift and click on each layer to select it. Press P on the keyboard to bring up the position dimension. Change the X position of the top two layers in the timeline to 340 and to 940. Then change the Y position on the bottom two layers in the timeline to 110 and 610. Now the circles are evenly spaced out. Change the size of the circles by going into the red circle composition. With both the circle and the rectangle selected, press S on the keyboard to bring up the scale dimension for each layer. Change one number to 75%. Now they all change. You can change multiple layers at once in After Effects by having them selected while you make a change. Now let's make some connective objects at the center of the frame. Create a new shape layer. Click off the fill. Click on the stroke. Draw a line by using the pen tool and holding down shift between two points. Copy the contents by clicking on the object and copying it onto the contents menu. In the object transform menu, make the second line's rotation 90 degrees. Now make a second shape layer. Draw a poly shape. Turn off the stroke. Turn on the fill. Hold down shift while drawing it to create a perfect radius for your shape. This time go to path and adjust the path points. If I adjust to 3, I have a triangle. 4, I have a square. 8, an octagon. Align and center all of the layers. Make the anchor points in the center of the frame. Move the center objects to the bottom of the timeline so that they are covered by the red circles. Create a null object layer. Press R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation dimension. Hold down Option and click on the stopwatch to open the command line of the rotation. Here, you can write an expression. That is a bit of code to automate your action. In the command line, type in time star minus 50. The minus will spin the object in the other direction from our red circles. Connect all the layers in the main composition to this null layer. Shift select and do it with the drop down menu. Now preview your action by pressing spacebar. If it looks a little off, adjust the position of your objects incrementally with the arrow buttons on the keyboard. Here is the Ferris wheel. Now we have multiple actions. 
different objects spinning in opposite directions. 